Hello everyone, Omicron cases are increasing rapidly throughout the country including Hyderabad and many children are also being infected. This is putting parents in a lot of panic and they are like so worried. So first let me start with the good news. Still COVID cases in children are very mild like in the first two waves. Very rarely some children may require hospitalization for dehydration or a little bit of fast breathing for two to three days. And extremely rarely some children, especially those with comorbidities or babies less than one year may require admission in the PICU. But what we are seeing so far in the uh, Omicron wave, though I mean the numbers are still just starting to pour in and we don't have a good amount of data, but what I've heard from my colleagues in Mumbai and Delhi also, children are still having just mild symptoms, common symptoms being fever, cough, cold. Some children are presenting with loose stools and vomiting. So there is no need to go into full panic mode if your child gets fever or cough or cold. Give your regular paracetamol for fever. Give some cold medicine which your doctor may have prescribed earlier for cold. Use nasal drops and the next day you can consult your pediatrician. Now, if your child has some loose tools or vomiting, then for loose tools, give lots of ORS. You can start some probiotic. And for vomiting, if you have some anti-vomiting medicine, you use that. If your child continues to do vomiting or any severe symptoms, then you can go to the emergency. Otherwise, the next day you can consult your pediatrician. Now, what happens in all the COVID waves is parents have this concern that, you know, I'm going to the hospital with my child having fever, cough, cold. But what if my child is negative and uh, she or he gets it from some other child? That's a valid concern. But most hospitals are maintaining protocols in place. There is social distancing being maintained. Patients are being seen by appointment so all these things are in place but if you're still worried you can take an online consultation these days all pediatricians are available on the online platform so stay in touch with your pediatrician take an online consultation then she will guide you when to go for tests when to come for a physical checkup if required or many of these cases can be managed over online consultation easily in the last Delta wave, I must have managed so many children over online consultation only and I didn't even have to call them for a physical consultation. Uh, so nothing to panic as per the available trend right now. But certain signs which you should not ignore and you should take your child to the hospital immediately. Child's fever is just not going down. You have given fever medicine, you have done sponging. Still the fever is not coming down, your child starts having some abnormal movements like this or your child is going on vomiting despite vomiting medicine, very watery stools, child is becoming dull, child is not passing urine every 4 to 6 hours, child is not just sleeping, you're trying to wake up also, child is not waking up, child is breathing fast or there is chest retraction, the space between the two, uh, two ribs if the uh, you know, you can see the chest wall going inside. Then in that case, please rush to the emergency. You can identify a hospital near your house which is catering to COVID children and just keep that in mind so that in uh, you know emergency if you have to go you should not be worried about which hospital I should take my child. Uh, I am attached to Kim's Hospital Skondapur and we are fully equipped to manage all types of COVID cases including those requiring uh, advanced treatment like ventilator, CPAP, oxygen, everything. Uh, having said that, most cases are mild. There is still no specific treatment for COVID in children. So we will be giving only symptomatic treatment. Don't insist for antibiotics. Don't unnecessarily get CT scan done. Don't start azithromycin on your own. Please don't do that. Azithromycin is a wonderful drug. And now also in OPD since morning, I have seen two to three children who have been started with azithromycin by their parents. That to wrong dosage. So please don't do that. Don't misuse the antibiotics. They will not work against COVID and they will cause their set of side effects. Unnecessary blood tests. Some relative will give you a list of tests that my doctor advised this when I got COVID. So you will get D-dimer and all sorts of fancy tests done. And then when you come to us with those reports, you know, if the reports is abnormal, then the doctor will be forced to repeat further tests. So don't fall into that uh, trap. 
only consult your pediatrician regularly if required usually in covid we do very basic blood tests or an x-ray ct scan strictly we don't do in children because they are growing and the radiation can affect them and it really doesn't add or help us in the treatment like it helps in adults so keep these things in mind keep your child safe they can still go for outdoor play with masks maintaining social distance from other children or at times when it is not so crowded uh, and maintain a good diet there is no specific immunity booster or nutrition supplement which can protect your child from covid